Okay, um, I'm going to try a paint over of this pretty cool griffin here. Um, Casey, this is yours. Obviously, you know that. And so uh, this is just how I would do it. I'm going to do it really pretty quick. Um, not going to spend a lot of time on it. I did a little extra work behind the scenes, and so I'll kind of show you that once we get to the that part of it. I'm just talking over it. I've already done this, and then um, I don't know if I can really talk while I'm painting, so I'm doing it this way. Um, for this lighter area, it was kind of difficult to, um, you know, get a lot of form readability, if you will, because uh, it was so light. So I kind of went a little bit darker on the um, feathers, and then that way I could really kind of pull out the the, the lighter. Um, more feathery shapes, and so I got I got some um, a griffin um, reference and uh, some feather references. Um, I'm not a, I really haven't painted a lot of feathers, um, and so that was kind of new to me. But what I did here, I'm still on the beak, I guess. But um, what I'm going to do is you know not obviously repaint this whole thing or, or or spend as much time as I normally would, but just a real quick idea of um, how I would do it. This is just a normal layer. It's kind of a chalky brush. I got this from, uh, I don't know how you pronounce his name, Tamp Tamplier? Tampelier. Um, he's kind of a concept artist. Um, he's got some pretty cool uh, tutorials on, th I think, some Diablo 3 um, character splash art that he's done. And so I like his kind of chalky brush. Uh, it's really, I use this, I use uh, the airbrush for just a few applications, and that's pretty much all I use for brushes. Um, but anyway, just kind of trying to figure out general feathery shapes. Again, I'm not an expert on feathers by any means. And, um, you know, once you have the, the line art like you do and kind of a general color idea like you do, um, that's when I would just start painting just a straight color on it. Um, and so I'm going to do that for a little bit here. And I'm kind of keeping in mind, you know, going lighter. You know, I'm kind of I'm looking at how you did your coloring and I can see like kind of where your line is going to be, where the, the sunlight line will be. And so I'm kind of following that or trying to once I get into the body, um, you know, I, I go with a darker value than up here in the feathers. And I don't know, this part you can kind of skip, I guess, skip ahead on it. It's just me kind of rendering out a form. And again, I'll show you, um, if you look on the right hand side, you'll see a little folder there. I've actually got a bunch of layers that I've already done. Um, I just, again, I wanted to test it out to make sure I um, knew what I was talking about here or you know just to play around with different things so I'm just doing the body here again going a little darker so that I can go a little bit lighter and so that I can kinda see the form I'm not really a hundred percent sure how you know obviously you're gonna have that strong light from the top left coming down but you know if there's gonna be bounce light off the cloud probably something there. I'm not really going to get into a lot of that. Um, you know, probably like a fully, from from drawing to a fully rendered image where I would be like happy with it. Um, you know, uh, something like this would probably take me about 20 hours. Uh, I'm not very quick at all. And so here I'm just going to work on this for, you know, 10 minutes. This is normal speed. Um, and again, I worked on a little bit of it for, um, I don't know, I probably have I would say probably total everything is about an hour into this. So, um, but you know, again, no fancy photo shop layers here. Just a straight painting.
And I'm going to jump ahead here on the drawing a little bit. I think it's, you know, you get the idea of how I would do this. It would just would just take me a long time to kind of work everything, render it. So I worked on it a little bit more. And let's see here. That kind of... All right, so this is what I worked on full body and then this is another layer of just normal paint a little bit more detail work and I would just keep doing this uh, more and more you know make the feather more and more uh, feathers more and more detailed and um, here I will show you now where we would start lighting it so pretend that we've completely rendered it out we're happy with all the detail everything um, and now this is kind of the final touches if you will this is one way to do it so I'm going to take some purple, take a soft round brush and a multiply, la multiply layer. Uh, I, I um, selected the image like that, control clicked on the main body of the image just so I could paint and I wouldn't have to worry about um, getting behind on the um, background. So this is obviously just a real sloppy selection. You can be much more careful with this. And I am just going to kind of paint in where I think generally where that line is um, and then you can kind of play around with it make it darker or lighter um, whatever effect you're going for whatever looks the best um, and then we would look a uh, separate layer and I'm gonna do a, the vivid light layer and you can try soft light hard light all kinds of different uh, options there and go with kind of an orangey cast around where the um, light ends and starts going to the dark part and then a little bit lighter towards the top I'm not putting in any kind of a cast shadow from the head which there would be you know from the head onto the wing that right wing there as we look at it uh, there would be a shadow there I'm really not going into any of that detail um, this is just a basic idea of what you could do and then you can again kind of play around with it um, it's you know the more subtle the better um, and the more time you spent in spend with the regular brushwork the um, the less time or the less uh, you have to rely on filters so really like the image and can't wait to see what you do with it